there a ton of down some? Hey everyone, it's the Light Skin Bibalicious Bombshell Mashiko. And so I'm coming at y'all today with this um, wig restoring tutorial. Um, in the first video I did, I'm sorry, I'm looking here because I'm trying to upload a video and that video was of me actually um, washing my sensational wig, which is still uploading. So that's what I'm checking right now, you guys. So if you do see anything, that will be the first video. Anyway, so she is washed and here she is. Okay, now the reason why I'm going to try to restore her is because down here at the end, she is very tangly, you know, it's really brittle, it gets matted easily down here, but that's usually the first, you know, part that goes on long wigs because of the constant friction from your clothing or your jewelry. Um, as you can see, she is a really nice layered type um, half wig. And I think the number of her was, because I have two sort of like this, um, HZ045 or HZ04 something. <laughs> but I'm calling it 7 zero four five for now so what i intended on doing you guys was just roller setting her and then dipping her in hot water so what i'm gonna do right now is um i'm going to section her from the bottom the nape area And I'd like to also let you guys know this is the first time of me actually doing this with the rollers. With the rollers, you know? So. <laughs> So I washed her and she is kind of damp a little bit. I'm just going to start from the ends and just, you know, brush her out. Hopefully this would like tighten up the curl pattern, but over time it would drop and it would give me um, the opportunity to have my wig last just a little bit longer, you know. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm not putting any product on her. She is a little damp already, but... Yo, I hate this board. So I'm kind of rolling it tight a little, well not tight, but to the base of the, um, of the wig cap itself because the hair is pretty long.
I want it to be tight so that when I dip it in the water, or by the time I get to that process, <laughs> my rollers are still intact or my curls are still intact, you know? As I said, I want I want this roller set to last a while. See here, I have this little small red one, but I don't know how this is going to last. Let me do my best. See if I can fit this on here. If not, watch out to So now I'm using these rollers right here with the um, little clamp things to them because <coughs> I'm not going <coughs> to get up and use the video. section it so that the curls are not too tight and too or too loose in some areas. Okay, so, <clears throat> so far, this is where I've reached, you know, 
just going around the whole perimeter of her head. And to hold her down, I stuck a bobby pin into the center of the middle of her head or the front of her head into the styrofoam. because I want to get a little volume in the base of the head. If I had a salon, this would probably be one of the services I would offer um, in my salon to restore the wigs if possible, if they can be restored, you know. that you do not miss any pieces like I did right there. I'm going to have to go back and fix it because once you dip this wig in hot water, the hair is automatically going to become very Tangled. straight. <laughs> okay, so once I dip it in the hot water, I have to set it in a towel, let it dry, drip dry in the towel and then put it back on this form. And hopefully by tonight, I can show you the product. The finished look of it. So I'm applying my last roller to my half wig. If I can get this thing tight. So I can use those purple rollers. I got like three purple rollers in the top. But that's okay because that's the top of the hair where it's layered and I don't think it's going to look bad. I hope not. <laughs> Try to get it in as tight as I can. Hope to stay. So this is what it looks like all rolled up and what I'm going to do right now is go boil some water. I'm gonna go boil some water, you guys. I'm gonna go boil water and I'm going to put my 
sensational half wig in that pot and just let it sit there for, you know, I don't know, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes, take it out. I don't even think it need that long, but that's just what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna take it out and I'm going to set it on this towel right here until all the water, you know, absorbs into the towel and it's not dripping. Once that's done, I will return it back to this um, styrofoam head and sit it back down and let it rest until the wig is totally, totally dry. That's what I'm going to do. And um, once it's dry, I will come back and show y'all what the finished product is of me unrolling it and whether I'm finger combing it or brushing it out, whichever. So I want to thank y'all for watching this video. This is part two of my um, wig restoring. Um, I put wig restoring time of sensational half wig, HZ7045. So I want to thank y'all for watching. And I also would like it if you would subscribe to my channel and also rate my video, okay? I know you guys are going to like it. So just give me the thumbs up. And also, leave me some comments, okay? So see you in part three.